All right, let's get started. And pause this, save some bandwidth. All right, I appreciate you guys showing up. Welcome back to Is Your Six Covered? And we're gonna have a little fun tonight. I've been I've been really wanting to try this out. Finally, spent the money on it, and I haven't done any testing yet per se. I did do a little walking with it last night, tried out the different modes, but I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, it works out. I haven't. I've heard from one person, and uh, he wasn't a big fan but for uh, applicant more, having a little fun. Um, I'm hoping that it'll work good. SKS Hugo, thanks for showing up. But uh, what I'm looking at right now, or what you're looking at, is the Leopold. And this is the tracker, the LTO tracker. It's a 206X156. If you guys are interested, it's a very small unit. It's designed for uh, – it's a thermal imaging camera, basically. It's all digital. It's basically just a screen in there. And I'll show you guys some of the uh, – here's how you turn it on. That shows up. And then you're going to see my hot head there. All right. So let me uh, – we'll change between views. You can see that behind me is a lot cooler than, say, my head. But there is uh, there's different variants here of colors. There's the red, green, and white. And then you got a high white or a black. I mean, so the image, the black stuff will be the actual the heat. So depending on how you want to look at it or what you're looking at, um, some things are going to be a little bit different. It's kind of nice you can see like those lights up there um, you can tell where the heat is I'll, I'll switch between it you can tell at the ends of the uh, the lights where the heat's basically being generated that is where you know your most heat is as well but there's the differences now the green the red hey big Al Warsaw Patriot Kyle Lus thank you guys for showing up um, but what we're gonna do is this is basically I'm trying to make the ultimate like uh, varmint killing machine, basically. And the reason why I'm trying to build this is because, and these are all the different screens, depending on what you want to look at. Now, I will say that when you're at night, when it's nighttime and you're walking around with this, say you're tracking uh, footprints or blood marks or whatever, not much of a big, not much of a hunter per se anymore. Uh, nor was I really, but these are the things where you can you can follow a trail. Like at night, you know, it definitely helps out. But this is stuff. This is heat, so you can you can do this in the day. It won't ruin it if you're running the screen. Um, what's really cool about this, at least, see the crosshairs in there. You guys can see the crosshairs. So, and it also has zoom, which is cool. So I can go up to plus six. Now that I'm really zoomed up and I can go all the way back to one, that's one right there, which gives you like a square screen, which is zero magnification. And then that's normally what it comes on full screen, but that is 1.5 uh, magnification as well. So the reason why, back to the reasons why, let me get this thing back to, uh, but yeah, it goes all the way to six power which I thought was really cool. The normal, it starts on one and a half, but you can get down to one. Uh, people get ARs with 22 conversion kits. Yes, Warsaw. I'm going to put this on the Ruger. Um, this is the X-Ring, and I'm going to switch over cameras here in a minute. Take this out. I don't have the right scope for this. Not the scope. I don't have the right uh, mount for this, but what I'm going to use is a Pepper Burris scope. I'm going to take off... Uh, one of my scopes off the, the X-Ring 22 version from Tactical Solutions. If you guys aren't familiar with those rifles, those rifles are a, a pretty high dollar rifle. Shoot fairly, fairly, you know, compared to normal stuff, they shoot really accurate. If you start getting into some of the really high dollar 22s, yeah, they can't compete with those. But uh, placing shots in the dark could be pretty badass. So I'm hoping it works out. Um, so we'll see what we got. Basically trying to just kind of see if I can get like uh, 
a cool little night rifle that, you know, I got a problem with a possum or something. Um, I can get rid of them so they don't attack my dogs, whatever the case is. But we're going to try it out. It may not be the best thing. Right now, having fun walking with it around. Um, there is a very small field of view. I did. There was no, no moonlight out. I don't think it even matters, but I couldn't see like anything. So it was dark. So I, I walked my way around the house utilizing that. Um, I noticed that the green seemed to be the easiest and uh, to actually maneuver around. It almost was more night vision kind of a uh, view. But when it came to picking up heat sensing, oh, and some of the things. So I did buy this at uh, Cabela's. This is an expensive unit. I didn't really want to spend $6.99 on this. So if it's not what it cracked up to be, I'm going to return it. Hopefully I can get my money back and uh, buy something else. The thing I did like about it was you could put rings on it, and it did have the crosshairs. So I'm hoping that I can sight this thing in utilizing those crosshairs and then maybe have a cool little gun that uh, – I can shoot out. Now, the only thing that would make this even more badass is one day when I grow up, I'm going to try to get my suppressor. And I've just been lazy, actually. I just haven't signed up for one. But I'll show you guys this in detail later. But this is the X-Ring version tapped by Tactical Solutions. Very high dollar, very nice. Things have been checked already, so don't freak out. But it's set up for suppressor. Um, so... There's a couple that I'm looking at. There's a, a newer one on the market that kind of took over a little bit better than the Sparrow. So I might be switching to wanting to get that one. But this is a, a cool little rifle. You know, you got capabilities out to whatever. And you can, you can see that, um, yes, Pops, Rick did go live. I like going live. Um, so the capabilities, what I thought was cool was the power, the six power on – on this so I'm thinking that this could be pretty good but it's going to depend on you know what type of field obviously if you're looking through the woods if there's a big ass tree in the way you know, there's a bear behind it and it covers the whole thing you wouldn't know there's a bear back there but or a squirrel or whatever the case is obviously I'm not hunting bears um, but so there's that that limitations as well but even if you use uh, night vision you wouldn't be able to see the bear because he would be behind the tree per se but with that said, let's switch cameras and have some fun. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you guys a different perspective. And then I can get to work. We'll see if this even mounts right. So here's a, here's a rifle here. Let me see if I can get us. You don't need to see my ugly face. So I'll put that right there. I'll switch this over. And then I'm hoping this mounts right here like this. And if you guys see the, uh, oh yeah, if you guys see, there's just basically that little camera right there. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the sensors will look right through there, through the second portion of the rings, and see if it works. We'll try it out. If not, um, that's how you learn, right? So let's break these down and get cracking here. Taking off the uh, LRS Burris scope. This is a one to four. This is what I originally started shooting three gun with, but the magnification, I really wanted uh, a little more power. I don't know if my eyes are getting old or what, but finally ended up picking up one, a Vortex Strike Eagle one to eight. And, uh, Definitely helps out with the longer stuff. SoCal. <laughs> First time for everything. Yeah. Wife's gone. She's in California. My son's gone. It's just me and my daughter. And she's basically hanging out, playing with the dogs and watching TV. So I figured why not hang out with my buddies? If any of you guys are wanting a link and you know who you are, then 
and just type in something. And we're almost done here. This rifle, though, I enjoy this rifle. I don't shoot it enough as I should, but it's a it's definitely a cool rifle. Very decent with its accuracy. I have a couple uh, of the regular stock 1022s, and this thing definitely shoots a tighter group. I have an Essa. Let me get these off. There's there's 12 screws holding this scope on here. It's a good scope mount, but not when you're trying to hurry. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? You guys having fun? Doing anything exciting? I would assume no because you're hanging out with me, but... I do appreciate you guys showing up. It's always fun. All right, so we're almost got that one off. On well, Warsaw Patriots tired. This will be a good uh, video to get you to fall asleep, especially this damn. Man, these things are long. One of these six is holding this on here. There we go. <clears throat> It's not hat night, at least. Been working a lot and making money. Good job, Warsaw. That means you can go buy more stuff. Watching Rick play while reloading Grendel. Nice. <clears throat> It's exciting. It's exciting. You're building them. Yeah, I'm hoping this really works out cool. Um, I don't know if you just how long ago you showed up, but I'll I'll show what the before I mount this one more time. I'll I'll show you guys what it, the thermal looks like. Get this bad doggy off of here. All right, so let's let's get to. We'll start with green. All right, so here's the screens. This is a thermal imaging. Let's see if I can. All right, so let's find something. Let me try to do this like this so you can see. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, so you can see my hand. Hold on, let me get my fingers around to the button. All right, so you can see there's kind of the, there we go. So there's different modes depending on what you're looking for right here. Black is hot. You can see that darker spot right there is hot, the hottest part. Let's see if my arm, look at that. You can see my blood veins. That is cool. This is where good for paramedics trying to start an IV, huh? All right. So that's it. Basically, there's the other settings. So we'll go to the next one. Okay, and you'll see the red there. The red is the hottest, and then it's reversed as well. You can kind of see the blood going down. Let's see what my veins look like. See, and this works good, I think, especially on some of the smaller game that it's not giving off. I'm trying to hold, not giving off as much heat. Pointed at your heart. There you go. That, that's probably cold. It. Let me see here. Turn this damn thing off. Can't. See. Freaking see. Oh, uh, be kind of interesting to see. So let's check this out. Uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that that's my face. So this fabric, this fabric of my shirt. See how I go like that? Ah. Let me try a different setting. It might be easier. All right, let's go to white. So, yeah, it's just showing me it's a big hot blob, basically. That was cool, though. 
Uh, if I would have known, I could have set it up a little bit better. But basically, along with that, you have six settings. Uh, you can go from uh, right now it's at 1.5 power up to six, which so here's my hand. Let me try to hold the camera right. And I can keep zooming in like this. So if you have a small object, say a squirrel, whatever the case is, will it zero? It should, oh, no, it won't zero. You're gonna have to do a little bit of, uh, there's, no, there's no settings to zero it. But what you can do, and this is the reason why I'm doing this video, I'm trying to figure out how far off it is. So let me turn this thing off. Now, if this thing had turrets on it as well, this would be a pretty awesome little unit. But what you can do is run it along with stuff like a red dot. But I want to see if I want to see if this will if this will line up, and then if it'll register. This is all just testing phases right now. So I'm gonna put this on here. I'm just gonna lightly put this in so I can spin it. And we'll see if it works. Now if it's off by a little bit, you could probably shim it you know, use a little bit of paper as you're clamping it in here. It'd probably be a big pain in the ass. Uh, try a red laser cartridge. Talking about res red laser cartridges. So I bought this thing made by Sightrite. Okay, and it's for 9 millimeter. You can't chamber a flipping round in it. You can't chamber this round in it. So as most of you guys know, when the slide's not completely closed, like there's an actual round in it, the barrel's canted up. So it's, I want to say a bunch of bad words, but it's a stupid-ass idea. Like, how's that going to help me unless, unless you're shooting it out of a different firearm? But I bought it for pistols. And obviously, I was thinking that it would work. We can hunt coons and possums at night on some state lands with a 22 long rifle. Yeah, this is just for the house. I'm on 14 acres. So if I got if I got some possums or raccoons trying to get into my dog pen and give my dogs a hard time then that's when this thing will come out so right now that's it that's the uh, finished product it's going to be a matter of seeing if this thing will pick up all right let me point it over here real quick so it is working guys i'm Pointing the barrel at you, it is empty, but I want to show you that the clearance, the clearance of that camera with the mountain front will, uh, it's not, it's not doing anything. It's not, it's not interrupting the, uh, the camera at all. Let me, uh, do a little more. So this should work. Now, how far off it is, let me turn this light off. Maybe it'll help. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, where the hell's the switch? Let me turn this light off, and this should help. So let me go to another color so you can tell that it's not the wall. All right, so there's red. It's a little easier to show you guys, but you can see my hand. And 
I don't know how far off this is. I'll have to do some sighting in later. Let me see if I can show you something that's hot. Uh, what's, let me try this. Let me get this set up. So I'm going to put my hand. I got my hand around a gun right now. Let me try to line this up. Okay. So I'm going to let go of it, and it falls. <laughs> let me find something else. Something a little easier here. All right. So I got my hand on a wrench. Let me try to set the wrench up so I can... Just leave it there. So I don't know if you can see that or not. But what was kind of cool, it's not work. It's not a uh, trying to hold the camera and do all that stuff at the same time is definitely impacting my uh, abilities to show off this thing. But you can see it holding the gun. Let's see what you guys have to say. Let's see here. No, Kyle, get out of Ed's red. Reds. Let's see. ACDC Dirty Deep on the state lands. If you will pick up a laser signature, you might put one under. Oh, yeah. I wish I had one set up for a 22 because I could probably utilize that one. But yeah, it's, it's just, I could probably get it. Now, if I had a 9mm suppressed, that would be a cool little unit as well. Go get a cup of hot water. I could do that. Let's, let, me, uh, let me get a drink of tea here first. Uh, all right, you guys, take a, take a break. I'll be right back. Actually, I could do this. I could do this just as easy. No, I better not do that. Catching stuff on fire is probably not good. All right, I'm back. Sorry for the delay, but my buddy SoCal had an idea. That looks cool. <laughs> All right, so there's a bunch of bottles here, guys. And then there's a hot water glass, and you can see the glass. And uh, you don't see any of the other stuff because it's all of even temperature. So that is kind of cool. That would be basically what your target would look like. Now I'll go. I'll switch between the uh, 
uh, different settings. Trying to get it lined up. So the, the water is hot, is black. Now it's switched over to red and the brighter the green. What I'll do is I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Uh, hold on while I turn this back on so I can figure out how to turn those off. All right, so now I can turn this one off. Now you guys don't see much, right? You can see my screen here. I need that to show, but you can see that hot water right there. Now I'm gonna switch over to the green again. And if I was outside right now, you know, a tree would be different than the ground temperature, you know, and the branches would be different than the actual trunk of the tree. So you would end up with more three-dimensional kind of viewing of stuff. And that problem is, I'm gonna turn this sideways, maybe the camera, try to get it so it's closer. See if I can find the right one. I'm looking for the green one. All right, I'm gonna move this thing just so I can figure it out. Okay, that is the green one. Here's my feet. Let's see if I show you guys me here. Right now, basically eating the freaking barrel. Um, so that's that's me moving back and forth. If I was farther away, there'd be a perfect white, you know, a human size uh, man sitting there basically. Let me turn the lights back on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Somewhere over here is the plug. <laughs> I can't see. Help me. Good Lord, it's dark in here. I know there's a flashlight around here somewhere. All right, let's see. If I don't electrocute myself. Damn it. It's dark. All right, I found a lighter. And here's the plug. What the hell? Wrong one. All right. That's what I should have done is just hit the breaker. So I'm hoping this works. I don't know. Have you guys ever utilized one of these before? And if so... Are you playing with yourself in the dark, Rick? No, I am not. <laughs> well, there's nobody here, so I guess it's kind of. You guys are here. Use the force, Rick. I'm trying. I'm trying. So this should work pretty good. I can't take you guys on my adventure outside. I will try to do – I just ordered a, a phone mount that goes onto a screen. The only problem is is – I think because of this screen here, it's not like a scope. It's an actual a camera video screen right here that I don't know if I can mount that camera on basically right here. Well, we'll try it out when it shows up. I'm still waiting for it to show up from Amazon. Actually, it wasn't Amazon. It was uh, a different company. But I'm hoping it works out because I think this is really, really cool, especially if I got a suppressor for this thing. I think it would be a lot of fun being able to shoot stuff in the dark. Being able to know what it is that you're shooting at obviously is important. But it should be a lot of fun. So let me jump out real quick. Say hi to everybody. And... Let's see what we got. Bald and Curious, Big Al, Daniel M, uh, Kyle Lusk, Vanessa Kitty, Morsa Patriot is who's up, showing up anyways. I know there's more. We got Kyle Lusk and SoCal. I don't know if it's still out there or not. Big Al, 
What's up, buddy? I think I got most of everybody. If I missed you, type something in there, and I will uh, definitely shout you out. Pops Quest. See if he's still in here or not. Oh, there's one I missed. Byron Gray and PC Bullet Empire. Jerry Pierce. Timmy Biddle. And Simpson Road Larry. I think I got everybody. SKS Hugo. Or South Patriot all the way to the back. All right. Let's see. Some I want to read for Matt. Say, Rick. Hey, V-Borg. Thanks for showing up. Treads out there. PC Bullet Empire. So could that be the magic key to uh, picking up some freaking possums and raccoons that are trying to attack my dogs at night? Maybe. Like you guys said, Daniel M., you're out there. Thanks for showing up. The uh, There is no turrets on here, so that could be an issue. I've seen them where they're backed up by a red dot on this end of it. I think that's how it was. Rex uh, Tiberius Rex did a video on that when they first came out. And I need to go back and watch it to see how he had it set up. But I think this could be a cool little unit. Especially like on an AR, you could run, you could run your optic or red dot or whatever the case is. This is a screen, so some of the things that are not going to work is you're already at one and a half power here. You can get it down to one, but the screen gets a little smaller. Now, if you go this way. I'm already at, well, I'm at four power. Here's one power. Get crosshairs. I can actually see the crosshairs. So that might be a possibility. I'm thinking it's going to have to run a red dot in front of it. I got to find it, but I have a, um, I think it's an aim point. What the hell is that thing? And that would be kind of cool to see if that works as well. I'm going to need to do a little bit different on the mounting system. If, uh, But this crosshair may be on pretty good. Um, it may shoot an inch high or something, but all that can be – if you know what it is, you just aim an inch low, you might be fine. But somewhere I have – uh, a nice red dot system that's, I don't know where the heck it is right this second. This, let's see what this power, uh, that's three and a half is its lowest. Yeah, that's just a big green blur. So that won't work. I think the red dot's going to be the best way to go. This Here's a crappy red dot, which should be thrown in the trash. Let me see if it has a battery power to it because it's just uh, – oh, there is a dot there. Reflection on the uh, camera is – let me brighten the dot because I'm losing it. I'm losing it in the screen. Let's go all the way to uh, seven's the highest it goes to. And I can't get the uh, – oh, there we go. I didn't have the angle right. So if you do that and you actually used a good red dot, let me see if I can hold that up for you. This is really going to suck. <clears throat> I'm going to put this down here. Try to line that up. I don't know if I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see any of this. More than likely not, because just me trying to hold it 
when I was actually being able to see through it. I'm just going to go with no. I'm going to go with there's no way of holding that together good enough for you guys to see it. But, man, this thing could be really cool if it would work. So, I mean, it works, obviously. You know what? Let's do this. Let me. Okay, this glass is still warm. Let me put it over here somewhere. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, whether the light's on or not, it's not – it doesn't matter so you can see I'll put the water back over here you can see that mug is still well I can see the mug can you see the mug there we go and it's a lot clearer on this screen with me looking at it than me looking down at the screen on what you guys are seeing I mean the uh, the picture is a lot better <laughs> good more water could put a cold beer there, but then I'd have to go get one. So any other stuff? I got a switch over here. You can hear some ticking, like every once in a while. Yeah, or if you're switching out, if you're switching something on this uh, on the settings, it's like a camera lens trying to adjust for clarity. So you can hear a little bit of something like you would hear on uh, in one of your DLRs or DSRs or whatever those cameras are called. You can hear it doing a little something. What's cool about this unit, though, is besides it's spinning, I don't want to do that because I'll scratch it. It takes one 123. These are pretty easy to get a hold of. Usually, you know, we have them laying around with other things that we do, flashlights and so on. But that just uh, screws in there. Oops. Loosen this thing way up so I can spin it again. Hopefully, I didn't get any marks from the scope rings or I'll probably have to own this thing now which is gonna hopefully it works out and I want to keep it anyways I should go back to this screen because obviously that one sucks well I messed with this so there you go that's a little bit better all right pray that there is no scratches on here So that's the basically it. I'm hoping that she works. Put this back to where it goes. I gotta quit doing that. And she's on there. So I'm excited. We'll see what happens. I've used thermal for uh, the fire department. You know the system's a lot different. It's a lot more money. Uh, obviously, we don't have to pay for it, but it has a huge screen on it. it. makes it easy for finding people or finding your fellow firefighters. Um, you can tell where fires are in the wall. So there is a that big bonus or a big uh, plus to having thermal imaging. But it's expensive, so... Hoping this hoping this works out good. We'll see what happens. Don't buy one of these because these don't work for shit. Unless you're gonna put it in some type of rifle that will let you have an over oversized nine millimeter go into the chamber. Because when you can't close the bolt correctly, it won't work very well. Definitely. Any questions, you guys and gals out there? Let's see. Let me go back a little bit. I missed some stuff. 
<laughs> beer. So let me crawl back here. Did Al suggest a laser? Yes, he did. Try the Big Al's laser suggestion. I will have to try that. Um, I've got one of those three-dot lasers on my shotgun. It looks like Predator. <laughs> he never listens to me, just like at home. Sorry, Big Al. i just getting back to the comments here, my friend. An IR laser. That would be cool, yeah. Let's see. You never try a three-dot laser. He just won't listen. Stuck on the red dot loop. <laughs> yes, I was. I was trying to figure it out. Do you have a laser to test with? I do not have a laser to test with except for that stupid ass, this one. And I don't have anything to mount it to because I need one chambered in 22. Actually, it won't matter because I need a bullet in that area. No, I don't have any lasers. I'm not a big laser guy. I don't know. I'm not a big laser guy on carry guns. I'm not a big laser guy on anything, really. I do not. I guess an R one would be cool if it'll pick it up. But I don't want to. I don't want to tell everybody where I'm at. I don't want. I seen guys. I sometimes I'll be running the uh, IDPA, and these guys will come in with their laser set up, and I'm not knocking it. Especially, it's good for the people that have you know issues with seeing. But that damn laser will be flying all over hell and back. And, you know, he'll pull the trigger. Well, they'll, he'll pull the trigger. It'll jerk. You know, it's not. And this is the guy that uses it. I mean, and it may help him a lot. Maybe he's just uh, needs some more time behind the trigger. But I just, I'm not about it. <laughs> So Daniel spent $1,700 on a 22 long rifle. Which one did you go with? Oh, I'm using a CZ 455. Those are nice. Hey, Keith, how you doing? Appreciate you showing up. I believe in a half hour or maybe uh, 930, um, foreign and domestic will be on, so make sure you guys get over there for that. Unless they're not doing one tonight. But they should be. Got John Rambo out there. Conversion kit. He has a conversion kit in his AR, which has a digital night vision scope on. Nice. And then we got a big L. Get whatever you're going to shoot to hold a glass of hot water. <laughs> that still doesn't mean these crosshairs are on. But I bet you it's close. I bet you it's probably two inches high. Well, let's see here. Where is the calipos? Not the calipos. I'm going to guess. Here's center. Barrel height. It's probably, yeah. Yeah, it's probably two inches high at, say, 50 yards. So all you got to do at 50 yards is shoot two inches low. I'm thinking it's going to work. I'm going to try it. I'll probably shoot a couple rounds tomorrow and just uh, and just see. So it says that it's rated up to 300 yards. I think, I think that's probably going to be stretching it unless you're in a, you know, a, a field. You'll probably see a dot over there. And you can zoom into six, but – Hey, Mr. Bullpoints, Walnut or Walter Miner. Hello, Philip Rivers. Hey, buddy. Uh, but I don't know if you're going to be able to make out what it is. So you don't really want to be shooting stuff you don't know what it is. After you probably get a little familiar with it, knowing what size is what, you can probably make the difference between a <laughs> a wild boar and say a squirrel or a raccoon or a chipmunk, probably. Uh, where do you guys where do you guys order bullets for reloading? If it is um, nine millimeter 40 that kind of stuff, I shoot Acme bullets. Um, there's a 10% discount code of IY6C if you're interested. And uh, that's basically what I do. Here's what the bullets look like. 
they come in uh, bags like this, but they come in nice wood boxes. And do I have any? The problem is I got a bunch of guns laying here, so I can't pull this one. Out. Actually, here. I'll show you what it looks like. This is one of the coolest things about this company is their bullets come in boxes like this. Anything from this big, which is a lot of bullets, to two little guys like this. So like this right here is a 40 to 10 millimeter, 200 round nose. Um, what is that? NLG, I can't remember. But that's that's basically a hundred that's a hundred rounds right there. And this is I think five hundred or a thousand. So that's kind of how that works. Pizza ready, baby? So that's what I use. So if you're looking for a 10% discount, you got uh, all capital letters, IY6C. Hey, Mario, how you doing, buddy? Um, there's that. So that's what these look like. These are um, high-tech coated bullets, lead bullets. They work really well, especially if you shoot a lot. Um, you, save a, you, know, you save some money if you're just going to do some blasting or whatever the case is. Definitely a, a way to go. I'm not saying it's the only way to go, but it's been working for me. And save some money as well, so it makes it nice. So you can order some more powder or whatever the case is. Let's see. Sub key, sub rich, what are you working on? I just put night vision. No, I didn't. I put thermal imaging camera from Leopold on my X-Ring 22 long rifle, trying to see if I can make myself a, a nice little night blaster for possums and stuff that's trying to get at my dogs. So I don't know if it'll work. You guys will have to wait for the me to do a little testing and find out. Tattoo Dragon 8, thanks for showing up. Man, I'm fancy. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to try it and see. I'm not saying it's going to work for sure. But I tell you what, when you're walking around, you can see stuff. Man, you can see my blood coming through my arm. That was cool. i never seen that before. But basically, the my blood going down my arteries. Uh, that will be cool if you can get video from the thermal. Yeah. I'm hoping to. Taking the 300 blackout to the range tomorrow. Nice, buddy. That'll be cool, John. Curious how the flash will wash out the screen when you shoot. Yeah, it'll turn hot. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think it'll be a big deal. One shot. You know, this isn't going to be one of those things where I want to be running around shooting a bunch of rounds. This will be more like uh, I got a stupid ass squirrel. Uh, squirrel is not really a squirrels, but the uh, possums that come out and they want to be a pain in my ass. You know, it's going to be a couple shots the most. Here you go, Mario, since you showed up late. That, uh, that white thing right there is a cup of – it's not even that hot anymore. It's been sitting there a while. That's warm water. There's uh, some different screens. Black is hot on that one. And I don't know. I can't even read them all. But there's like five or six. Actually, the best thing to show you guys is this. Because I don't have to try to hold that damn thing up. It is the directions. So this is the LTO tracker by Lou Uphold. What's funny is I've heard Leopold, Leopold, blah, blah, blah. Here's all your options. Here's what the different screens would look like. You got uh, red, green, white, black. Then you have black with red and then white with red. So it depends on what you're doing. At nighttime, it does project, project light back onto your face. 
So if you were trying to clear a house or do some something where you're trying to, uh, uh, I don't know what the best words would be, be a ninja or some shit. But here's some better pictures. You know, this is what a deer would look like in there. This is a deer. No, I don't know. It's fine down game. So this is, and then remember, guys, this was made for tracking. So there's your animal in the down in the bushes. This is enhanced situational awareness. So you can see that guy sitting by a house. And this is what it looks like when I was doing looking at my house last night. You could see the outline of the house, but you can see hot stuff. You know, that's probably a, a light, another person in the window, or maybe that's a lamp of some sort. Here's a wild boar running around. And that says scout pests and predators at night. So I'm hoping this is cool. Um, some of the specs on it that nobody cares about is it says it detects distances of 600 yards. So 600 yards, that's pretty damn far. Um, so if it can really do that, I mean, unless it's like a – oh, and, you know, when you're looking at vehicles and stuff, I mean, you can definitely tell the motor, the brakes – you know, the, the warm parts of the vehicle, you can find Bigfoot, <laughs> Mr. Bullet Point says. Uh, how much did it set you back? It sent me back $6.99 plus tax, so it was $7.24. I was trying to upgrade my capabilities at night. I don't have any cool nods or any, any cool stuff like that. Um, I kind of wanted to, you know, I could I could have went out and bought another gun per se, but I don't need any more damn guns. Like I got enough shit to shoot around here as it is. So yeah, it is expensive. Uh, I've been saving up and been wanting something like this that I can, I can kind of run around and look at the property and see what's out there. So now in the wooded areas, like I talked about way earlier, you know, if there's a bunch of trees and stuff and it's real thick, and there's something behind it, it's not going to penetrate through per se unless there's pieces shown of that body. And it may, you know, between all the, the branches and stuff, it may only be some stuff. So uh, what brand is it again? It's a uh, Leopold. Leopold. And it is the Leopold Tracker, Vanessa. But what's nice about it is it's small. You know, it's a... Uh, you guys are familiar with rim oil can, right? So it's it's this much of the can. Or something else you might be familiar with. Where the hell is my tape measure? Actually, it's probably right here on the specs. It is. Doesn't say. Comes with a five-year electronic warranty. Its startup time is less than three seconds. It's got 10 hours of continuous use, six times digital zoom, fixed focus, 30 hertz fast frame. You can go from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degree horizontal uh, field of view. So it's not very wide, but that's kind of how a scope set up. And that's the reason why... Uh, that was one of the, the things that kept bringing me back to either this or that. Having the crosshairs in here, whether you can really call them a crosshair or not, but if I can utilize it as a crosshair, um, that's the reason why I went with this one and along with being able to go out 600 yards if, if it can. But the other ones, and I can't think of the name of them, they're very popular. They're less money than this. You put them on your eye you get a wider field of view. So like finding hogs in a field, that would be easier to do with that because you're basically having to look through a, like a one inch circle to find something, you know, but once you're on the money, you know, you can run a flashlight or whatever and you see the possum, then you can kind of ditch the flashlight once you get in the right area. The other one, they yeah, the ATNs. That's not it. Bad Billy 429. Thanks for showing up. It's a, uh, keep going it's 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 um there's two different versions of it there's one that's really expensive and then there's one that's 
There's one that is uh, five ninety nine. I think was it was either four ninety nine or five ninety nine. I think it was five ninety nine because this was another hundred bucks. We all need a man cave, Mario. We all need a man cave. Let's see. Tattoo Dragon, I want a 1911. Thinking about the Ruger SR 1911. That'll be nice. Let's see. Let me make sure I caught up all this stuff. Mario just looked for them on arms lifts. Neat a military base. Oh, the PAQR, or the PAC-4 IR laser. Yeah, that'd be cool to have, let me tell you. Let's see, I've got a man cave. <laughs> I want the CZ 1911. Get the Shadow 2. Or get the Infinity. <laughs> or that. Or the Atlas, or SVI, STI, or you can get an Akai Custom. Yeah, the Dan Wesson is the uh, CZ version, I think. But then you're talking big money, and that's no fun. Or you can just get Sweet Tea right here, Pure Leaf. I agree, Bad Billy. Just depends on how many dollars you want to spend. It's way better than some guns, though. Like, way better. Bad Billy's got the CZ. He's got the TSO. No, he doesn't. Shadow 2. Which one you got, Billy? I think it's the Shadow 2. Nice pistol. Today I'm rocking the P10C in a Harry's holster, uh, appendix carry. It's got the extra, I don't know what the hell the name of that thing is. Helps push it into your body, like this way, into your body so the grip's not out as far. Then you got that Dewey Mihicki right there, which works good because it pushes the grip into your fat. Yes, I said fat because I got some fat on me. Um, but it... Helps hide the the grip for sure. What's nice about this Harry's holster grip or uh, holster is I'm not a huge belt guy. I don't get all super crazy EDC and I got my belt and flashlights and all that bullshit. I am a simplistic person, so I got a knife and a gun. So I got this badass SOB right there. The Microtech Ultra Tech, which is one cool blade, half serrated, and and I carry this. And then in my vehicles, I got some extra mags and stuff. But great gun, the P10C made by CZ is some beauty. This is hot, and of course it should be because why not? It's a gun. It's always loaded. Uh, let's see. I print all the time. No one cares. Yeah, and depending on what state you're in, um, it may not be a big deal at all. The Shadow 2 he has and the PO7. Both of those are nice. You will get a double action sweet 1911. Let's see. Tea is expensive also when you drink gallons of it. <laughs> Yes, yes. It does get a little pricey, my friend. Yes, it does. The Wedge. So, Phil and Rivers, I think it's calling that the Wedge. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, sir. Tattoo Dragon is correct. When you drink gallons and gallons of it, it gets a little spendy. No one licks. That's true. I... The funny thing is, is when you first get your concealed permit, you'd swear everybody's looking. But in all reality, nobody's looking. Nobody cares. I missed the beginning. So what is a rifle? Something new? 
No, the rifle is the uh, it's the X Ring Tactical Solutions 22 long rifle. It's basically just a hopped up, tricked out um, Ruger 1022 made by Tactical Solutions. Beautiful wood, uh, extended mag release. The trigger is still heavy on it, which kind of sucks. But everything's aluminum. It's all aluminum except a steel line barrel. So this whole thing is fluted. Beautiful rifle, though. Um, other than that, but basically it's built on the on a not the platform because nothing in here is basically Ruger except the I believe this bolt. But uh, everything's been kind of cleaned up, tuned up, put together, a little, little more high speed, low drag, and bigger price tag. Let's see. Let's go back out here. Phil and River says, yep. Okay, so we were talking about the right thing. Mr. Bullet Points, Daniel, my wife pointed out to me one day a guy carrying a full-size 45 in his sweatpants. No holster. Holy hell. That's a lot of weight. No holster. That's a dumb move. I don't know if you guys carry without a holster, but that's just uh, – that is not a smart idea. We got Bullet Points, can I guess <laughs> – yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see, I carry my 45 and my banana hammock. There you go, Daniel. <laughs> and feel my gun in the no gun zone. Yeah, always a holster. That's the smart move. I think on everybody's part, especially if you're going to, you know, you're. Carrying to protect yourself. What happens if it falls out and somehow shoots your retina or shoots your uh, wife or daughter or something? Now it shouldn't because, you know, as long as it's not the 320 that hasn't been fixed yet, it should be all right. But there's always an accident. So that's why there's accidents. That would be an incident though because you didn't take the time to put it in a damn holster. I pick up a Ruger Precision Rifle and 22 Long Rifle tomorrow. Should be fun little shooter. Did you get a um, – what's the make of it there, Mr. SoCal? I'm pretty sure I already know the answer to this, but please put it out there. Does it start with an A? Does it start with an A so I have to be sad and wish I had one? Please tell us, Mr. SoCal. All right. And make of what? Oh, you said a Ruger Precision. All right, never mind. I was thinking you were going to pick up a, a rifle I'm looking at getting. It's in 22 long rifle. You're either Russian or Italian. <laughs> Good one, Daniel M. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's a possibility for sure. Well, there's a lot of you guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to get over to domestic, foreign and domestics chat in a half hour because that's where we should all go visit. Use a holster if pocket carry. Yeah, that's important for sure. That'll help get the gun out faster, and it'll help uh, keep a bunch of pocket lint from getting in there along with uh, you should have it in the holster because you don't want to accidentally pull the trigger when you're looking for some pennies in your pocket. How does Vanessa use a pocket holster when girls' pockets are like, you can't even put a damn quarter in those things? 
Tell us, Vanessa. Tell us your madness. How does that work? Warsaw Patriot, he'll be on there. I like Kydex holsters. I do too. I enjoy them a lot. I'm going to show you guys, if I can find it, a holster that is a hybrid. It is uh, It's right here. <clears throat> All right, so see this holster right here? This is a half hybrid. This is a hybrid holster. It is half Kydex. It's all Kydex, but it's lined with leather. Now, if you're one of those guys that likes to have a quiet draw where you don't hear the click, you're going to see this has a, a neoprene foam padding in it like you'd see in a, see in a wetsuit material. It's backed by leather, and it is, it's, it's, a. Uh, where's the microphone at? It is not, it is Kydex on top, but it is wrapped completely in leather, and they're probably one of the only companies that I've seen where they, they actually figured out a way to um, adhere a nice piece of leather to it, but very thin, it's very light, but it's super comfortable. This is probably one of the best holsters um, that I've come in contact with. They're they're pricey. I don't remember what I paid for this. This is for a shield, and I bought the shield years ago. But it's a an awesome holster. If you're if you're a leather guy that wants comfort with this neoprene, it's definitely up against your body and nice. But this is a uh, Garrett holsters. They're out of. They're in USA. You can kind of see. You can see it right there. That's the logo. Um, I did a video on this years ago, giving it five stars, and it is. It's an awesome unit. Some of the things that uh, they're a little. They're a little more money than a regular just Kydex holster. But say you're not a big. Uh, a guy that likes to switch his guns around a lot and you're going to carry, you know, gun X for the next five years or whatever, it would be in your best interest to go ahead and maybe buy something like this because it is super comfortable. So not that this one isn't because this is very comfortable as well, but up against your skin all day long, um, there is a little bit more comfort with this one. This one I used to carry at the uh, like 3 30, 4 o'clock position. So there you go. So this side's all smooth leather, and then this side's like the back, the uh, suede part, so you can kind of wipe it off and, you know, you can run a brass brush through it again and get all the uh, sweat marks off. They may make them for a PO1. I don't know. I haven't been on their site in years. Um, just cause, cause you got great guys out there that, you know, we've been hanging out with like right here, you got, I gotta hide my name, but bear customs. You make, this is a, for the P S P L one. This is a great holster. It's got my, got my logo in there. You can kind of see my, one of my old logos right there. You go. It's got my name on the bottom, so I covered that up. You know, you got Harry's holster, which is a great one. We already talked about that. So I haven't really found a need to go back to these guys because I have been switching. Uh, I have been switching holsters around quite a bit lately. But if you're going to carry one gun and you're going to carry one gun for a long, long, long time, this may be the one you want to get. It is definitely quiet. It's comfortable. And they won't hear you pull the gun out. And they won't hear you put the gun back either. I can't do the in the waistband holster, but then I'm a rebel. Well, they make out of the waistband holsters, but if it's out of the waistband, it doesn't really matter about comfort. Because you got your pants and your shirt protecting it and all that other crap. 
Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, don't forget to get over to Foreign and Domestic. WTF SoCal, can you confirm they're doing one tonight? Do you know if they're getting ready to start one? I think uh, Warsaw said he's going to be on the chat. Got to go see you uh, on the Scotsman channel. All right, there you go. That's a, that is a good indication that we need to get the hell off here. As always, I do appreciate every one of you guys showing up. Bad Billy says he likes the Alien Gear holster. Very comfy for the fat guys. So I haven't used the Alien holster, so I'm not really sure. WTF says I don't know, but we got Warsaw Patriot saying he's going over the Scotsman's channel, so he's probably getting ready to get on the panel. So we got a few minutes with that said. You hang up first. <laughs> I got my notifications. They will be on. Okay, so they'll be on. That starts at 930, right? So we got a few minutes before we got to get out of here. And then I'm going to go eat cold pizza because... I think my daughter came in here probably 20 minutes ago to tell me the pizza's ready. Uh, let's see. Prepping to endures out there. Thanks for showing up. And HKVP9. If you guys are like, I don't know if I have one available. Where would it be? Where would it be? Where would it be? Oh. All right, give me a second. I'm going to show you guys. I think, actually, it's up here. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, there it is. All right, have you guys ever seen this holster before? I don't remember the name of it, so I gotta look. It's called. It's called My Eyes Are Freaking Getting Old and I Can't See Shit. That's what it's called. It's made in the USA. I think it's called Fallon's, Fallon's Defense System. Now, this holster is not some crazy, awesome Kydex holster for the fact that it is, you know, it's, it's just a regular kind of a crappy Kydex holster. But... What's cool about this gun is you can, or not this gun, this holster is you can probably put 50, 60 different pistols in here. So what's kind of cool, this is my son's race belt. Um, when he's switching between pistols, like he shoots a VP9 is like kind of his main gun when he's shooting with me. But you can throw like a Glock in here. You can throw a ton of different stuff in here. I wish I had the, the sheet for it. I don't know if I do. I'm just going to say no because I don't really want to look through all that crap. But if you're going to be a guy that tests a lot of guns, say you're a YouTuber and you know, you're buying this gun, that gun, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. This one here will hold a ton of guns, so you won't have to find a holster for it. Say your guy like Big Johnson or Coda Boy 32, you know, they're out at the range all the time shooting a different type of pistol. This is a, an option because it will carry a ton of different stuff. It's got good retention, but it's set up on a platform of, you know, kind of, does all of what the uh, now I'm not saying this will fit every gun, but what I'm saying is it'll it'll hold a ton of different style guns. And I'll give you guys the name one more time, and then we can get the get the heck out of here. Okay, so it's P H A L A N S Felons Defense System, and it's made in the USA. And it's not the most pretty thing you've ever seen, but it comes in full length like this. I have the half one that I use. Like if I'm going to try a bunch of pistols out at the range, I'll throw that on one of my belts and then I'll go out and get it done. But it's cool. It works good. They make mag pouches for it as well. 
And I don't know where any of my shit is for that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let's see. So here's a Glock. That comes out. Here's a VP9. <clears throat> There's that one. So it's just cool. It, it, you can do a ton of different stuff with it. Uh, what else can I throw in here? Here's a gun that you guys have probably never seen ever in your entire life. I don't know if it'll fit. It fits in there. This is a Daewoo. It's uh, my first pistol, actually, DP-51. It's got the uh, triple action trigger on it. So it does a ton of different stuff. So you get the point. There you go. All right, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, there's only one more thing to tell you guys. It's a little secret. So I'm going to switch cameras around. All right, here we go. i got to tell you guys something real quick. You're probably not going to be very happy about it, but I'm going to turn this thing off, and I'm going to shut this channel down for the night. Because you should go over to Foreign and Domestic and uh, show some support to some fellow YouTubers. You're probably going to learn a few things. You're probably going to learn at least a few cuss words you've never heard before. But it'll definitely be entertaining. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. And with that said, you guys have a great night. See you on the next one. And for some reason, I think most of you are, but if you're not subscribed to me, you really should because it would really make me happy. And I think making somebody happy is very important. So if you guys can do that for me, that would be great. <laughs> See you guys.